So what he's doing now is splitting each of the um, the fig cuttings like that. Because what he's going to do, he's going to put he's going to put one inside that cutting, inside the uh, the split like that. So he'll make a crisscross section of that. Four will go in the middle and four on the outside. So now he's starting the base by inserting the the twigs into the split ones mm -hmm. and he's going to have four he's got four that are split and four that are not split and he's just trimming the edge so that he can actually insert the non-split ones through very important to keep the wicker wet because um, what happens is it will dry up in storage and it will just crack. <laughs> now he's going to use some cord to tie the centre together so that it stays because there's going to be a lot of movement when we start weaving around it and each of these sticks are going to be spread apart slowly as he weaves so that they end up being um, radiating out from the centre. So this is um, an important part to capture. Have a break and then yeah. the, fine, the finer wicker for the the, the centre, starting from the centre. Mm -hmm. so the now this is the tricky part. Lou, you might have to come in close for this. He's going to have three three pieces. Vajipangu vidalo chano. Right. All right, you get that? So he's actually... And they start to go one over the top of the other. It's hard to describe it. He's putting in three pieces. Like a plating. Yes, it is a kind of a plating. And as he does that, he's spreading the, um, the sticks apart. So in the end, they'll be equal distance apart. When are you going to break the team? Um, when she comes around, comes around. Oh, they'll come out there. Yeah. Yeah. So as he works with those three pieces of wicker, he's slowly moving the base sticks apart. It actually takes quite a bit of skill and also a bit of strength to continue. Yeah, I'm yeah. just mm. noticing yeah. the strength in his hands. Yeah, yeah. And the dexterity. Mm -hmm. yeah, under and over, and then the, the one, the one next to it is going under and over. And yep. ready? Yeah, okay. So now he's going, he's going to insert another wicket because the one he's um, got this snap. So can you see that? He's put it underneath. Yeah. So he's basically inserted a new piece of wicker underneath the one he was working with. And it'll lock in by the other because that one snapped. So down. that's the whole base? That'll be the base, yeah. Okay. He'll actually not get to the very end, he'll trim it. So that'll be a bit shorter. Okay. <coughs> Were you able to get that, Luke? Yeah, so he's making adjustments because the it's actually breaking. Is yeah, this is um, just demonstrating how you're weaving each of the three weeks. So, so this is going, it's going under. And, uh, which you have to make sure you have to push the wicker down and you're also pushing the sticks together as you do that 
So it's gone down and under. And then the third one on the end here that goes down. You can see we've got the three pieces of wicker there. I'm taking the end one. That's going. Yeah, yeah. Going and then under like that. And keeping pressing down and making sure this, the sticks spread apart. And then holding that down, get the next one that's on the end. Over. Under. Are ready? So Go. he's going to finish off the base and he's going to do something with the uh, bits that stick out. Oh, look at it. Yeah, he's locking that into place, that one. Stop, stop. It's a good No, no, no. So he's locking those into place, ready to finish it off. Uh, oh, now he's okay. just trimming, trimming off those, the, yeah. the um, once he's decided that that's the base, he trims off and leaves a bit of excess because there's still some work to be done. So now we're going to do the sides and we have to collect the thicker wicker and we basically embed them. If you look in there, it's embedded inside along there and then that'll be bent up. And there's going to be a short and a long one in each of those cavities. So first he's inserting the short ones and then he'll insert the longer ones. The long ones are needed because that will finish off the edge of the basket. What he's doing now with a pair of pliers is squeezing the actual cane because they're going to be bent up. And by squeezing it, that won't snap. No broken. If you do like this, it might be broken. Yeah. Now he's inserting the second line of wickers which are longer as you can see and are, are next to the short one so now we're collecting them all into the center and they'll be tied up <coughs> and then the weaving will start from the base So now we're going to start weaving the sides and it's going to be the same as uh, the base. There'll be three, three pieces and it'll be up and over and under like before, but I'll show you that after. So, ready? This one. So he's got three sets. Each set here is made up of two short and one long. And the short ones, the length of the short ones are just over the circumference of the base. And the long ones about double the circumference of the base. So the three pieces of wicker are slowly woven around the base. <coughs> so you can see here that he started as he weaves the three strands hold down the strands of wicker that are forming the uprights. holding them in place and as before it's an over and under technique again this might show this one you need to have it stick out so that they won't not slip come, out not come out to side from here either. and going in towards the basket because they'll be trimmed on the inside of the basket later And they're also twisted round. So it's 
the two uprights, they're the ones that are being focused on when he's putting the three strands either underneath or on top of. It's always. That's one of You can see here, these are two uprights. And the three strands go yeah, over the top to hold it down. And by twisting them, it keeps them together as well. And we've gone round once, and now he's, this is, he's finishing it off. But very complex. To... So he's continuing the same actions, but there's a point where the short ones end. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the short ones, he stops using the short ones at this point, and he goes around once more with the long ones. So the long ones end up locking everything into place, yeah. and the short yeah. ones will be... Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you cut off those... Yeah. Yeah. The reason why you make the short ones about the circumference or a little bit over the circumference, so you don't have a lot of excess because you're going to cut that off. Yeah. So now he's just taking the three long ones, and now he'll continue going around with those. Yeah. So once he gets around once with the long ones, then he'll untie the, the top and then it'll be a matter of just working round and round with the three strands and adding more as, as you need it. Okay, so we released the string from the top and now yeah, and we're going to start working, uh, weaving all the way around as we do. The, up, the upright struts have to be carefully, you have to pay attention to them because they're going to form the sides and you want an even side. So you have to make sure they're even distance apart and that they're standing up the way you want them to. If it's going to splay out or if it's going to be straight up, so you have to keep an eye on how they how they um, splay out. So when when a new piece of wicker is put in, you must put it in so that it really, there's quite a length inside, and then you've got to hold it down so it doesn't slip out until you go around once. Okay. So we've got the three strands we're going to weave the side of the basket, and I'm taking this one, that's the end one, you always go for the end one, and that's going to go over the top of this, the upright, and then underneath the following upright, like that. And at all times you have to make sure you keep the upright centred and think about how, if you want it to splay out, then you have to make sure that as you weave around you keep pushing them out to give it a splay out. But if you want it to go straight, then you have to make sure that they're straight. Yeah, yeah. So this, this, was the, this was the one that is finished, uh, finished, and he's putting a new one underneath it like that. And you have to hold it because it'll slip out easily. Yeah. So you have to hold it when you're yeah, my, my, until it's worked through a couple. Make sure that this one no arrive final form. So you have to hold it, make sure it doesn't slip out until you've done it a couple of times around. Then it will be locked in place by the other ones. Mm. And he's feeding the extra lengths into the actual basket to lock them into place until he finishes the top bit properly. So that way they just not in the way and they're locked in place. And that'll all be cut away after. Because he's decided to make it that high, he didn't need the short ones to be that long, so he's mm -hmm. trimming them off. Mm -hmm. The longer ones are going to be used to the um, mm, to finish off the edge, measuring the um, the uh, circumference for the length. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's got those, the upright and then the two that is inserted and he's twisting them in his hands. Twists them and then puts them inside. 
See how it's 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 locking. The first lot he started here, this, we'll and this second lot is holding that down. Now go over there. I'm taking this one. This one. So he's grabbing each of the uprights with the three thinner wicker and he's twisting them together. And again there's that over and under process. But then each each time he takes each of the uprights. Uh, yeah. So he's joining those with each of the uprights and taking them around. Yeah. Now he's going to leave the uprights, they'll be cut away and he's just going to work with... Yeah. Yeah. It's like every second upright he's not going to take now. And so he's taken this upright with the three and he's twisted around. Go go there he goes here. Get to car as soon as you So he's twisting and pushing down at the same time. Yeah. So he's leaving another upright. And again, he's taken the second upright and he's incorporated in with the three smaller, thinner wicker. So he's going to use this tool here to help him weave some of this thick edging into the basket so that it actually hides where it finishes. This is a tool he made himself. And in this case, you really have to pay attention to how it's all weaving to try and match the weave to hide it, hide it really well. Mm -hmm. See. This is a very difficult part to explain because it's really a matter of the eye you have for how it looks, how the edging looks and whether it blends in or not. To know where to put the tool. Yeah. He's actually following one of the one of the groups of um, wicker to try and sit alongside it so that it looks like it, it matches. Trying to hide the, uh, the finishing. So he's matched. He's keeping an eye on how one set moves through the wicker and then he's, he's continuing the finishing off piece. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to is trying to continue the end bits to match with a piece that's already woven into it. Okay, so now he's finished. Rocker and tether. He's going to trim off the insides and the outsides. Trim, in, trim them in a way where they, um, they taper towards the basket. So this is Dominic Canetta, my father, who's just finished the basket. As you can see, it's all finished. And this is the sort of basket he would make in Italy to carry things in, but much a larger version. Figs, olives, whatever. Che con cosa che vuoi dire tu? Thank you very much a tutti. Okay.
Thank you very much for listening and watching. <laughs>